Right, hello and welcome to this week's angling blog. The river season is finally here and who knows, with the vote that went on in the closed season, could this be the last time we have a June the 16th? Leave below your comments and what you think about that. But for this year at least, June the 16th has come around and we're back on the banks of the river. It's actually the first full opening weekend of the season now. We went out on Sunday last week for a few hours on a rising river, managed to catch these lovely chub that you can see on the screen now. The river was rising and it was a small window of opportunity and it was great to be back. Today we've had a week of a little about of rain and we're on the river fishing the stick float and it's great to be back. So we'll have a quick look at the setup today. As you can see, I'm using my 17 foot Preston Innovations rod, my Shimano Techium reel with four pound, four ounce float fish. The swim I'm in is about six to seven foot deep and then it drops down into about 10 to 12. And I'm just gonna start off in that six to seven foot water with a six number four stick float, evenly strung shot down to a two pound, one ounce hook link and a size 16 hook. Looking at the bait tray, we've got casters from Angler's Ark and maggots from Angler's Ark, hemp, and we've got some tears as well from Cheshire Particle. So let's get to it. So first cast of the season with Ernest. It's gonna be feeding hemp in line with this tuft in the, in the edge here is a nice marker. And we've got some lovely dark water got a pint of casters with me today and I'm just going to feed them in line with me so the fish don't come too far up the swim and ideally I want to be getting my bites anywhere over that dark shadow down just starting off close in in about seven foot of water you can see it's quite a big river so it may take a while to draw some fish in I'm just starting with maggot, a red maggot on the hook. Not gonna feed any maggots into the swim. Just gonna feed caster little and often. And hopefully try and get some quality fish into the swim. And as you can see, there's one in the edge there. So there's a few fish about. The first fish of the season, it's took about four to five trots through and a nice roach to get us off the mark on this session. So a nice early bite, flicking back out, and say not going too far, feeding quite heavy with the hemp, just a few casters. And what you wanna do at this stage, like I said, it's a big river, put the bait in to draw them onto your line and say, there's a lot of water in front of us and the key is to get them fish on your line. If anyone watched it in winter when we were fishing the Ribble, we talked about lanes and very much today we're on the inside lane and we're trying to draw them fish into it. And as you can see, there's one or two fish just turned up on that line. And if we can get them like that, we'll have a very good day. So what we have on this swim is a bank of weed on the inside. And what we're trying to do is drop on the outside of that weed. The fish will naturally hold on the outside of the weed because it's sanctuary for them. But it does mean that sometimes you can catch the weed as you're trotting through. You can always tell because the float goes through a lot better when you land on the clear side of it. But just dropping on the opposite side of that weed, the fish will naturally patrol up that line and obviously the weed is where they naturally find a lot of their food as well. So it's a good place to start. So as you can see on the screen now, early on in the session, there's quite a few of them smaller sized roach in the area. So what about an hour into the session and had quite a few of them small fish and there's been quite a bit of the foam on the top coming down 
been hindering presentation and missing bite. So I've moved over to a bolo, which is allowing me to just edge that bait through slowly through the swim. And that's the first better fish of the session. So with one or two skimmers showing down the peg, I'm just going to introduce some ground bait into the swim. It's um, census roach, and in there, as you can see, got casters, quite a bit of hemp, and some micro pellets. There are some proper bream in the river, so what I'm hoping to do is put down a little bit of bait on the bottom so that I can keep running that bollow over. And hopefully we might attract some better skimmers into the swim and keep them there. All them little particles will keep them on the bottom and we can keep running over the top of it. So let's get a couple of this, these balls into the swim. Third shot through after feeding that ground bait, we've hooked into a, a better quality fish. Just shows that it was the right decision. You know, early signs are that you know they have reacted positively to that ground bait going in. And the very next cast, another much better quality fish than what we were getting early on in the session and I think Mr Pike has shown up to the party almost certainly a five ounce roach <laughs> has just turned into a rather large bend in the rod almost certainly a pike and in this situation you very rarely get them in they normally they normally either bite through your line or let go of the fish normally like that <laughs> let's say you very rarely get the pike in but yeah Back on the river, back with the pike, if only it was October. And a surefire way of knowing when Mr. Pike is back on the prowl is when all the silverfish in your net start coming up to the neck of it. It's a sure sign that down the other end there's a good chance there's a set of teeth. So we're a few hours into the session now and just looked into a better fish. Uh, I'm not too sure if it's a pike. We have had a bit of problems today with pike and the way it's juddering down I've got a feeling it could be you can see the little judders on the float 
almost like a pike. Well, I know it's a big bream. What do I know, eh? <laughs> it's just the way it was thudding down when a pike's trying to turn a fish round. You know, in its in its mouth. I know it's a nice bream. And look, and that ground bait it really worked. I just gotta keep edging it in towards the net and keep it out of this weed. It'll be the fish of the day if we get him in. Although, if it's any decent pike out there. <laughs> this will be the one it comes and has a look at although I think the pike the tunnels is a little jack pike because we've had a few fish taken where the slashes in the fish have been quite small and we can get him in there we go it's a cracking bream that and like we said earlier when you want justification that feeding that ground bait was the right decision there it is and there we go what a clonking bream that is just under seven pound a proper bream and what a fight on that light rod and in the flow definitely thought it was a pike was convinced it was a pike the way it was thudding but yeah one thing we know about these fish is they're not alone. So let's get it straight back and see if there's any more down there. And as the session's going on, slow, the quality of the fish is slowly improving. I'm starting to get one or two of these better roach now with more consistency. A thoroughly enjoyable day on the bank. Right, so this time we have got a pike on. He's had about five or six goes that roaches have been bringing him in. And he's a Right pain in the backside. He's only small, but let's like say he's definitely a pike. Come up and swirled, and now I hooked into a roach. And it actually said to my uncle, who sat above me, "This one's in trouble because it come right up the middle of the swim." And there you go. It's let go of it, and that's what happens most of the time. Like happened with the first one. A very, very lucky roach. So I bumped a bream before, and I think this is almost certainly another one. Just slowly moving upstream. got to take your time with it and said the fight of a bream are like days they're notorious for not fighting really but being able to lose the hook and it's another another nice one the only problem is now I don't think we've got enough ground bait to hold a shoal like this unless they get on the hemp proper and we start putting in some serious amount of bait to hold them if there's a shoal of them then they're going to take some keeping in the swim especially well the last one was just under seven pound this one well there's a fair old piece of snot a nice bend in the rod And the one thing I didn't want it to do was wrap around its fin because then it comes in like a, a kite and, and when they flip like that you can lose them. No, no, don't go in the weed. So you don't half put up a, a fight. It's when they turn the head like that, you're in danger. And some power. 
But then again, when you think about the setup, four pound line and a two pound hook link and a, a tiny, you know, size 16 hook. Hopefully, just gotta take your time. And he's ours. Another nice bream. And there we are, bream number two. Just over six and a half pound. A lot more lightly coloured than the other one. But yeah, what a fight in that flow. Great fun. Heart stopping at times, which is mad to say for the bream. But on such light gear, it is. Fantastic, fantastic first proper session of the season. Let's get the fish straight back and get some bait on the spot. And here comes Mr. Pike again. Soon as you get the swim going, he's on it. And so you've seen before, he's been jumping clear out of the water. See there, as soon as you get one of them better stamp roach, the pike, probably not even big enough to, to take it, it's just grabbing the fish. And there's that lucky roach. And as I say, when you do get one of the better stamp roach, be straight on it. There's been many a roach today that's not been as lucky as this guy, but he does bear the marks of the encounter. But he's a persistent little pike, I'll give him that. He's been at it all day. So we'll get him in the net where he'll be safe for at least half an hour before he's back out dodging Mr. Pike. Let's get him back. So we're into the session now and that sun is going to come around soon and make filming really difficult for the last probably hour of the session. But just while it's in, it's getting steady. Bites just a nice distance down the swim and a bit of a pattern appearing. As you see there, that pike, <laughs> I was just about to say, the pike moves in, kills it for a bit and then he moves back out. But as you've seen there, I don't know whether the camera picked it up, but he's back again. And that's what they like, them little small jacks. You just keep coming back and coming back. And I hope that we picked up on film. It'd be amazing if it was. But that's the routine that it's in at the moment. It's just, when he's there, bites are very sporadic. And when he moves out, you get a steady run of bites. And then Bream have come when he's not been in the area. But now he's back there, he won't probably stop until he gets what he's waiting for. But it has been a really enjoyable you know, first day on the bank. Really enjoyed it. It took a while to get into the routine after three months. But both my, myself and my uncle had a fantastic day on the bank. I'll put a couple of pictures up now of fish that I catch towards the end. And if we get any more bream, I'll love the GoPro on. Other than that, we'll have a look at the final net. Right, so the session comes to an end there now. What a fantastic day it's been on the bank. A far cry from last weekend where I was stood in the river for two hours while it was rising around me and it was chocolate. Today, been able to dot that float right down and had plenty of bites. Then Bream, well, what a fight they put up. And of course, Mr. Pike, well, he's been around all day, at least one or two of them. And I can only imagine what a, you know, a day we'd have had if Mr. Pike and then let the swim settle a bit. As you can see on screen now, we had them two fantastic bream, which were separated from the final net to begin with, just so they don't crush the fish on the final picture. And then, as you can see, we've had a lovely day's fishing, plenty of bites from them roach, and skimmers and the odd chub. It has been a great day on the bank. Great to be back on the river. So all you river guys who've been waiting for river content, 
there's plenty more to come as we go in search of chub, roach, dace as the season goes on and there'll be plenty more on the channel with piking, maybe some more catfish, bit of carping and all in between, who knows, Barbara might make an appearance as well. If you've enjoyed the video, it'd be great if you could leave it a like down below, really does help the channel out and helps the video to get noticed and if you've enjoyed the video, thank you very much, enjoy your fishing and I'll catch us all next week. Tight lines.